Oh, it was a, it was a blown way. Amen. From the five-year-old kid that was lame and crippled. Amen. All the way down to the king's table. It was several years that had transpired, and a lot of things had probably happened in Mephibosheth's life. And in the in the scene that I read this morning, Amen. David had left and had gone out of the country, and and Mephibosheth didn't get to go with him because he was deceived. Oh, but I want you to understand, he came into the presence of the king in a less than perfect manner. The Bible said his feet weren't dressed and his beard wasn't trimmed. He looked a sight. Amen. But you understand, it didn't really make any difference how he came. It didn't really make any difference what he looked like. Amen. The king really wasn't concerned about that. He was just concerned about why weren't you here? Hallelujah. If, if they call me today and said uh, the queen wants to have uh, an audience with you, then uh, there's going to be some folks that's going to call me up and they're going to tell me uh, this is protocol because when you come in the queen's presence, uh, you have to do it a certain way. Uh, and, and they're going to give you a little list of things uh, that you have to do to be prepared to meet the queen. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Uh, there, there, there are some things that you're going to have to do to meet the king or the queen. Amen. You, you, you walk into his presence. Amen. It doesn't really make any difference. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, there, there's protocol that they have in the earthly kingdoms. There's protocol and they set it up. And you've got to do all of these things just right. Oh, but I'm not talking about an earthly king today. I'm talking about the king of kings. I'm talking about the one that rules all the kingdoms. 